Okay, Hot Wheelers back again. Joe Motor here. Um, part two of the 500 subscriber Kraken Yaktastica. Hope to do a little more Kraken than Yakin in this video. Um, but uh, I just wanted to uh, get some more cars cracked open, fill a couple of holes in my display case, and then we're going to do the display case update. But um, we're having a little fun this weekend celebrating breaking 500 subscribers. And again, I want to thank all of you who have subscribed to the videos. And even if you haven't subscribed, if you just check out the videos, uh, hit the like button or comment or whatever. Thank you very much. It's um, it's a pleasure. Uh, so let's uh, let's crack. This is the I showed this in just a, a few videos ago, a couple of videos ago. This is the Jungle Crawler I found at a toy toy shop, local toy shop, and uh, I can't bring myself to give this away. So I'm gonna crack it. I'm gonna crack it. This is just cool. I just dropped it, but that's okay. It's only a dollar car, and it's already got damage. Uh, on it. As you can see there, it's got some tampo for, I guess those are like bullet holes and scratches and mud and stuff. Um, really cool Matchbox Jungle Crawler. That is that is just mean. Mean Jungle Crawler. Painted taillights. Really cool body style. Love these tires. Like I said, I'd love to see some real riders, but the shape and the, the uh, look of those tires from the side is really, really awesome. Really nice. So, um, there's your jungle crawler. Matchbox, sometimes they get it right. Ooh, it's got a little suspension too. Hold on. I gotta show you the suspension real quick. Look at that. So that's awesome. I didn't even know it did that. Alright, time out. We're gonna check this out a little bit closer. Check this out. It's almost like a Monster Jam uh, articulation here. You've got quite a bit of suspension, so it really does. It's like a jungle crawler. That is awesome. Bonus right there. Super cool. All right. All right. All right. So let's see. How about this? This is a piece. Um, sorry. Reset the camera. This is a piece I got off of a website that was doing like a clearance. And they had this piece. Um, they were selling it at a loose price because look at the car. It's all messed up here. It's like been chewed up and I think it's like real brittle you can like see how it's real brittle so it'll just it's just falling apart so obviously this is a Lucy this is a uh, Firebird funny car number 3955 um, see if it has the year on the back 1981 and I've really been getting in kind of these these black wall dragsters um, and um, let's crack it let's crack it without it falling apart I've been waiting to crack this for a while There we go. Check that out. Very nice. Very cool fireball. Uh, don't know if there's any lots of variations. Some of these dragsters have lots of variations. It's the interior. I'll show you that and I'll pull it up in a minute. Here's the Malaysia Base 77. Very cool. I'm not going to pull this up all the way because I don't want to bend it too much since it's so old, but I'll show you the interior there just so you get an idea nice all-metal base there that's a cool one I like it fireball so I can take this out of the way now alright now for a couple of doozies here we're gonna crack a um, couple of RLC cars first one up is going to be the super van been dying to crack this guy this is um, a convention car actually it's from the 8th annual Hot Wheels Collector Nationals. You can see up here on the top if you're interested in the packaging at all. And I'll show you that real quick, just so you have a reference in case you're wondering where this came from. This is still available, I think, on the Hot Wheels website. There's 10,000 of them, so it's not super rare. It's 8388. And I actually have another one carded, uh, but I've been wanting to crack this for a while, so guess what? Here we go. I'm going to go in my display case with my other other vans, if I can get it open, these things are really, I don't want you to open these. Oh baby, looky there, wow, beautiful, very beautiful, groove van. 
This is so cool out of the package. These shiny pieces in the blister just don't, you know, they make them too reflective and you're not able to see the details. That is awesome. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful stuff there. So this is the, um, the super van, right? Well, it doesn't even say on the base. Yeah, the super van. So uh, somebody suggested the other day for me to do a, a, a video of my vans, and I'll try to do that soon. But uh, the two major vans, or the three major vans really from Hot Wheels are the super van, the custom 77 Dodge van, uh, which is part of the uh, many different series, but there's the custom 77 Dodge van, this is the super van, and then probably the most famous van from uh, Hot Wheels is the Baja Breaker. And there's lots of variations of all of those, but uh, this one here, super van, is beautiful. I'm really happy to crack that. I don't even mind the yellow windshield. So, that's going in the display. Beautiful. Love it. I could show you that all afternoon. Another RLC car we're going to crack. Oh boy, 68 Nova. This is from the Selection series. If you don't aren't familiar with Selections, you see how it's got Election and then the S and the two S's on each side. Well, if you're an RLC member, you actually get to vote um, on some of these cars. You get to vote on the model, the finish, the type of tires, the type of tampos, and then you know basically it's a, a collector, uh, you know. Uh, selected car. And that's why they call it the Selection Series. This is from 2005. This is the 68 Nova. And again, it's so reflective you can't even see the car very much. And I almost hate to crack it because if you can see the signature right here, it was designed by Otto Cooney. That's Otto Cooney's signature. We talk about Otto Cooney from time to time because he is the original designer of the Custom Auto which is um, named after Otto Cooney. I know I say this for you guys that watch my videos. I say that a lot about Otto, but um, just in case you don't know, that's Otto Cooney's signature, and I guess he designed this um, this card art right here, which is really awesome. See the red line club there. Show you the back real quick in case you're interested. You can check that out. And then this is number, let's see if we can get a good 6663 of 7950. So there's plenty of these too. So it's not like I'm cracking a, a uh, rare bird here. It's, it's pretty well. I'll probably still find a few of these. So let's see if I can get into this one. Oh man, look at this. Now see, that just looks so much better out of the package. You wouldn't even notice all this uh, subtle black striping on the back, painted taillights with the beautiful uh, undercarriage here and the license plate says HWC Gary, who's actually still employed by Hot Wheels. A lot of the HWC guys have been let go or have moved on. HWC Gary is still around, I believe, and he's the only one left really putting up updates on RLC. But um, nice, nice, nice red taillights there. Beautiful Spectra Flame. This is like a slate blue, almost like a gunmetal blue. It's got that stripe all the way down. You've got the Nova right here. Wow, beautiful. Got the uh, Redline Club insignia there. Black interior. These Goodyear tires are really what sold me. They're just these fat rounded edge Goodyear Eagle tires beautiful stuff and then here's the front painted headlights I don't think the hood opens I think it's non-moving part but that's alright that's beautiful and that's going in the display case for sure golly that's gorgeous 68 Nova alright one more piece to go and this one is the Moon Eyes um, Mustang Mach 1 drag car that just James Shear sent me in um, a prize winning slash ROAK. So I showed this before, but I'll just quickly show you the package in case you this is the, your first time watching a video. 
Um, Johnny Lightning did a whole bunch of cool series. This was um, called Racing Dreams, if I can show you that. Racing Dreams. These were imaginary race cars, one-time production run. And they did a few different series, automotive, gaming, military, um, pop culture, candy series, and stuff like that. And this one was automotive, obviously, it's the Moon Eyes. And then on the back, they give you a little history lesson about that particular subject. So we'll be keeping the card for sure. So I'm going to slice this open off camera so don't waste your time. I'll be right back. Alrighty, there she is. Mustang Mach 1 funny car. Not a funny car, but a, looks like a, maybe a Pro Street Dragster. Not sure. Uh, the Moon Eyes Tampos. Here's the card in case you just want to check that out. Each one of them um, in the series had a little card like this. Showed you a little history if you want to read that. And then here is the car. Beautiful Tampo work. Love the Moon Eyes logo. Show you that up close. You can see all the good little details. Love the Goodyear tires. Love that hood tempo. Got the thinny drag tires in the front. Very cool. Here's the painted tail lights. And then this does open up like this so you can put up the stand, set it there. Looks beautiful. So big shout out to James Shear because he sent me this car along with quite a few other really awesome pieces that went straight to the display case. And uh, James Shear is another fantastic dude who is uh, sharing his enthusiasm for the hobby and um, sending out a lot of goodie boxes to the community and uh, so shout out to you James and um, these cars are going to go up in the display case and we're going to do the display case video next so I hope you'll stay tuned for that again I want to thank all of you who've subscribed whether you've been subscribed for the past year or so or you just subscribed today um, thank you very much. I really appreciate you watching and, and checking out the videos. Put your comments below, um, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.